Hey there everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today we're going through a total body Pilates workout using a resistance band. Now, before you cliff off, click off because you don't have a resistance band, don't worry, you can substitute a pair of light dumbbells or just do this with your body weight. I'll talk you through those options as we go, so give it a try. So let's begin warming up first. We're just gonna bring the heels together with the toes slightly open in our Pilates V stance. Don't worry about the band for now, you can just hold it into one hand. Zip the inner thighs together, stand nice and tall, press your shoulders down your back, draw the abdominals in, and think about knitting the rib cage together across the front. So I like to use the visual of, think about a bra clasp, clasping your ribs together. So a lot of times when we pull our abs in, we pop the ribs open because we're sucking everything in. You don't want to suck it in. I want you to draw in, clasp the ribs, to get ribs together, and press your shoulder blades down your back. Good, so a lot's going on here before we even really start moving. So if you're holding onto a band, you're just gonna fold it in half, mine's kind of long, and I want you to just reach your arms down. If you don't have a band, just reach your arms down by your sides. So taking a nice deep breath in, all we're gonna do is inhale, reach the arms slightly overhead. So I don't want you to bring it right over your head. Keep the arms slightly in front of you, and then press down, pushing down with the shoulder blade. So really simple movement with the arms. Inhaling up for two. Exhale, push down for two. Good, inhale, reach up, focus on keeping those ribs clasp together, exhale, press down. Good, inhale, pressing up, exhale, pressing down. Now, we're gonna add on. As you inhale, I want you to just see if you can lift your heels slightly off the floor, keep your heels together. And then as you press down, we're gonna lower and take a little bend through the knees, a nice little plie. Inhale, extend and rise up. Exhale, press down into that plie position. Inhale, keep reaching your arms, lift up and press down. Don't worry about being perfect with your balance. Inhale, lift, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, press down, good. Keep that rib cage closed, abdominals in tight, shoulders down the back, and press. One more time, inhale, exhale, press down, good. Keeping those legs nice and active, just reach the band out in front of you or just your fingertips again. Shoulder blades are gonna pull back in together. We're gonna take that plie position, squeeze to the upper back and reach out and bend and reach, good. So imagine that there's a pencil right in between your shoulder blades that you're gonna squeeze around it as those elbows draw back. Draw the shoulder blades back in together, good, and back and reach, and back, and as you reach your arms, press through your chest, give me four more, and push, and three, and push, that's it, last two, and push one more time, good. Now, I want you to just take that plie position and hold it, keep the arms that are extended, reach them slightly back, up above your head, good. So we're gonna keep the legs moving here. As we straighten the legs, we're just gonna stretch out and over to this side, looks like this, we extend over, Plie, go the other way. Extend and plie, good. Reach out through the waistline, squeeze it back in. Inhale and exhale, that's it. Inhale, exhale, very nice, and reach. And press, good, and reach, and press. Extend and pull, give me four more. Extend, press down, this is three. And press, last two. And press one more. Great job, good. So let's go ahead and get started here. So our first exercise is a version of the 100. So if you're using light hand weights, you can just hold them for this exercise. You can also do it with just the arms too. So we're gonna press the foot into the band. We're gonna do a little balance here. So I want you to flex your foot. This is gonna be the same if you don't have a band as well. Flex your foot, draw your abs, and just find your balance on that single leg. Now we're gonna keep the arms extended and press them slightly behind the hips. And I want you to just begin to pump the arms as you inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep the body nice and steady. And exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Your arms are straight, don't bend and extend, and exhale, two, three, 
four, five, and inhale. And exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. You have one more set like that. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Slowly bring both ends of the band into your opposite hand. So if you don't have a band or you have light weights, just hold the weights with one hand. Opposite hand is gonna go onto our hip. So what I want you to do from here is just open this leg and arm away from each other. Abs are in tight, you're gonna open out and in. So they're not gonna move that far away from each other. It's just a slight open and close. Now, if you don't have a band, of course this arm can go wider to the sides because you don't have an end point range of motion. So just make it work. Think about exhaling as you open, inhale to close. Good. Exhale and inhale and exhale. We are feeling that standing leg. I know. Good. Keep those abs in tight. Keep the ribs drawn together. This is your foundation. Nice and strong. Two more. Good. Last time. Great job. Release it. Shake it out for a second. Now we're going to set that up on the other side. So we want to bring the other foot forward, flexing through that heel. Get your balance on your standing leg. If you're using those weights, both hand weights in each hand. And we begin to pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Draw your abs in nice and tight. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale. And exhale, abs get tighter on your exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Arms are straight, inhaling. And exhale, it's just a tiny little pump behind your body. Feel the triceps, inhale. And exhale. Two more, don't start to do this with your arms. It's a totally different movement. And exhale. Last time and inhale. And exhale. Nice job. Don't put the foot down if you can help it. Grab both ends of the band and your opposite arm or both weights. And we're gonna slowly open the arm and leg away. And in. Exhale, push. And in. Keep the arm and leg extended. And in, abdominals tight. And in, you can tap the floor at any time if you need some help with your balance. Good. A lot of work for that standing leg. And open and close. Give me two more. Good, last time. And open and close. Nice job. Okay, release it. So now we're gonna go ahead and place the band underneath our back foot and come into a little split stance. So if you're holding weights, you've got one in either hand or you're just gonna use your arms. We're gonna bend the elbows in by the sides with the palms facing up. So I want you to imagine you're gonna hold a tray with your hands and you're gonna serve it forward. So I want you to exhale, keep the abs in tight, press and scoop forward. Resist coming back, press and scoop forward. Resist, coming back, and push, and in, using the chest, shoulders, and biceps. Exhale and scoop, and press, that's it. Palms are up, present that imaginary tray, and press, and back, very nice, and press, and back, good, and three. Resist, coming back, give me two. Resist, one more. Now I want you to hold it there, stay up. Give me a little press, pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. From there, all we're gonna do is change our stance. So I want you to bring your back foot forward so the band is still underneath that same foot, but you brought it in front. So now we're gonna work through your back. 
So I want you to choke up a little bit higher on the band. If you're using the weights, you're just holding them in your hands. And we're gonna squeeze through the back. Abs are in tight. Row and reach and row and reach. Pull the shoulder blades back and together and reach it forward. Exhale and inhale and pull and resist coming back. Pull, resist. So don't let the band snap your arms back to the floor. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. Good, keep the ribs closed across the front. Abdominals in, nice and tight. Good, take this one up and hold. 10 little pulses back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, back more for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're not quite done yet. Shift your weight forward, point your back toe so it's nice and light. Arms extended, you might need to come up a little bit higher on the band for this one. So we're gonna work through those triceps. Now I want you to extend the arms back, bend your elbows and you're gonna press back and in. If you want a little more, lift the leg with the arms. Extend and bend, extend and bend. That's it, press back. So I have a little more bend in my front leg to help me balance here. Nice and press and bend and press and bend. That's it and squeeze. Two more, good. Last time, extend the arms back. Hold, give me 10 little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo, good job. Let's release it and set all of that up on the other side. So we're gonna switch the foot that's on the band. And remember, it started back behind us for that chest scoop. So adjust your hands, bend your elbows, palms up. We're gonna present that tray forward, abs in tight, close the ribs. Here we go, exhale, one. Resist back, two. Good, scooping forward. Nice, and scoop, and resist, and scoop and resist, press through the chest and the shoulders, reach and resist, press, good. The back heel, ground it down, give me two more forward and back. Last one, hold it up for a little pulses, extend those arms, and we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Slowly bring that foot forward, step your opposite foot behind, lost my balance there, and we're gonna go back into your row. So I'm gonna choke up a little bit higher for more resistance. Rowing the arms back behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades back and together, and release, and pull, and release. So this keeps the spine upright, which can be a little gentler on your back than that bent over row position. Squeeze. Good, initiate that movement by pulling your shoulder blades back and together for me. Pull, resist, pull, resist, that's it. Squeeze, resist, two more. One more here. Take it up, let's pulse it for 10, here we go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, shift your weight into your front leg, keep the knee bent, point the back toe nice and light, elbows bent so you can keep the back foot down or go for your lift. Let's extend those arms, work the triceps. Back and tap, back and tap. Focus on the floor to help with your balance. Push, good, squeeze. Nice, press. Reach it long, extend those arms all the way out. Let's hold, extend arms and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, good, let's release it. And we're gonna come on down to the floor for some floor work. So take your time to come down to the ground. We don't wanna just drop down there too quickly. Then we're gonna start on the hands and the knees. And for this one, you're not gonna use any weights 
if you don't have a band. So I want you to just use your body weight if you're not working with a band. If you are, what we're gonna do here is loop it underneath one of our back legs. So I want you to flex your foot, make sure you got a good grip on it, and keep either end underneath your hands, you're gonna firmly hold onto it. If you wanna come up onto your fists, you can, or press them down into the floor. Now keeping the spine neutral, again, make sure that band is secure so it doesn't slide off your foot. I want you to keep your abs in tight, we're gonna press that leg back behind our hip for one, resist in, two, Resist. Three, try not to lean to the side. Four, bend the knee in but don't touch the floor. Use your abs. Squeeze. Six, and in. Seven, resist that band coming back. Eight, and in. Nine, and in. Ten, now we're gonna bend the knee just halfway and do 10 tiny pulses back for 10. Nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your leg back there. Keep it straight. Lift it up a little higher. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come on in. Did we feel the glutes? Good. Let's set it up on the other side. So we're going to switch legs. Just going to bring my other foot in here before I release the band. Square up the hips. What do you think, Peanut? She's like, I'm not interested in that exercise. Okay, so square up the hips. Make sure you got the band secure underneath your foot. Abs in tight, shoulders and hips are square. Get good, even resistance. And we extend first for one. Resist. Two. Resist. Three. Don't bounce back in. Four and squeeze, five, and squeeze, that's it, six, and in, seven, push out through that heel, eight, resist, nine, and in, ten, now tiny little bend and press for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, push through your heel, three, two, one, keep it straight and extended. Tiny pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh my goodness, come on down carefully and release that band. Good job, woo, I'm sweating. I don't know about you, I hope you are too. Okay, so let's come to a seated position and I want you to take your feet about hip distance apart and go ahead and keep your knees nice and bent. Unless you're very flexible and you can straighten your legs without rounding your back, I'd rather your knees be bent. Take the band, loop it underneath you, or pick up those light dumbbells, or just reach your arms up. So I want you to sit up tall. We'll do a tester to see how much resistance we need for this, but what we're gonna do is just open the arms back into a V and hinge slightly back. So we're gonna hinge back, keeping the abs in tight. You're gonna open your arms up into a V. I need a little less, so that was our tester. Up into a V and resist back. So I'm not rounding, spine is long, abs are in tight. I'm gonna use my upper back, open the arms and resist down. Exhale, resist, good. And exhale, resist, that's it, open. Resist, you wanna make it harder, lean further back, but keep that spine nice and neutral. Good, add resistance if you need to, adjust it if you need to. Good, two more. Last one, I'm gonna get a little res less resistance for this last one, because we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, oh my goodness. We survived, good. So we're gonna move into a lying position on our back. So keep the band underneath your feet or hold on to those weights. And from here, if you're using the weights, just hold them in your palms. We're gonna make sure we got a good grip on the band. Bring your feet together, point your toes, walk a little bit higher up. So we're gonna extend the legs out without arching the back. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders and I want you to pump 
down with your arms. I think I need to flex my feet, there we go. So maybe flex your feet to keep that band steady. Press, press, press. So back into the 100 here, inhaling and exhaling. Make it easier with your legs higher, harder with your legs lower. Keep the arms straight, press down. Good, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Last breath and inhale and exhale. Good, relax back down. Now at any time during the floor work, if you really start to feel your head, neck and shoulders, put them back down on the floor and continue with the exercise. Don't stress your, your neck out. So from here, if you're using weights, I want you to set them down for this next one and just reach your arms instead. So we're gonna grab the band with the palms facing each other. Keep your feet flexed, make sure you've got a good grip. So please be careful with the band. I don't want it to snap back and hit you in the face. So watch this next exercise. Lift your head, neck and shoulders up. We're gonna extend the arms and legs away from each other into a nice long V. Resist, come back in. So we press out, exhale and inhale. Again, watch the head, neck, and shoulders. I want you to look at your legs. If your neck starts to bother you, set it on the floor. Extend out. Don't let the low back arch away from the floor. Keep those abs in tight. And bend, good. Remember, you can get rid of your band and just extend your arms and legs into that nice long V position. You're still gonna work hard. And in, extend. Resist in, good, three more. In, two more. In, one more time, extend. And gently bring it back in. Release the band from your feet. Good, let's set the feet hip distance apart. On the floor, we're gonna set up for a bridge. You can grab your hand weights and hold them just above your hips or if you're working with the band, we're gonna place it across our lap, kind of like a seat belt. And we're gonna hold the ends with the hands, pressing them down into the floor. So you know the drill, choke up closer together with the hands for more resistance, further out for less. So we're gonna keep those feet hip distance apart, arms are long by the sides, or if you've got your weights, you're gonna place them on top of your hips. And we're gonna press down through the legs, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips up into a bridge, and Release, exhale, press, and release. So we're gonna use the low body, but keep those abs really active. Press down, resist down. Press and resist, that's it. Exhale, and inhale, nice. And exhale, and inhale, press down. Release, good, make sure your knees are pointing over your toes the entire time and squeeze and resist two more. Squeeze and re resist one more. Squeeze and resist. Come up and hold it. Tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, slowly release it. Bring your knees up into your chest and let's rock up to a seated position. Swing your legs around to one side. Let's lay face down on the floor. So we're gonna really work through the back here. If you're not using a band, I want you to just use your arms for this, no dumbbells. Extend the arms out long. Keep the fingertips pressed into the floor for now. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Extend, lift the legs. So this is option one. You can just stay right here and bend your elbows in and press out. Option two, hands come off the floor. We're gonna pull the band or widen the hands and reach out. Look at the floor, exhale, pull and inhale. Pull and inhale. Stay as high up as you can. Widen that band if you're using it. Pull your shoulders to your hips. Keep breathing, concentrated movement, not a lot of reps, but a lot of work goes into every single one of those reps, right? Two more. 
One more. Come up a little bit higher. Tiny little pulses down the back for 10. Nine, eight, widen the band if you're using it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release if you're using the band. See if you can bring it across your shoulder blades and wrap it so that it's kind of underneath your armpits, underneath your palms. So give yourself a little resistance. Now, if you have a band that's kind of poking into your back and causing a lot of pain, just skip the band and position your hands outside of your chest, nice and wide. And we're gonna cross the knees and ankles, not cross the knees, cross the ankles. Abs in tight, extend away from the floor, come up to a modified push-up position. So this is where you're gonna adjust the band a little bit if you need to. That was a little too much. So get off of the knees, almost feel like you're tucking your tailbone slightly under, abs are in tight. We're gonna slowly just come halfway to the floor, come down for two, press into the band, inhale. Exhale, if you wanna go all the way down, go for it. But I want you to focus on pushing away from the floor and up into that band if you're using it. Down, exhale, and down, exhale, that's it, and down. Exhale, no weight on those knees, inhale. Exhale, two more, inhale. And exhale, one more like this. Now, tiny little pulses stay at the top of that push-up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly release your legs, release your band carefully. Just set the band off to the side, sit back into child's pose for a moment. So just oh, take a breath. We have been working hard, so take a breather. Slowly walk it in. And we're just gonna finish with an abdominal series. We don't need any resistance for this. Our body weight is gonna be plenty. So go ahead and come back onto your back. Slowly rolling back onto the back. And just go ahead and bring your legs up in line with your hips. Knees are gonna be pressed together. Toes are pointed. So I want you to just take your hands back behind your head. Interlace your fingers. Relax your head into your hands. Curl up over the top of the rib cage. Look at the legs. So we're gonna take our back foot. The shape of the leg isn't gonna change. You're gonna tap your back toe to the floor, pull your front knee in a little closer, twisting your opposite elbow in to that knee. Yes, switch to the other side. That's one rep. Ready, we're gonna go for 10, nice and controlled. Inhaling, one, two, exhaling, two, two. Inhale, three. Three, exhale, four, four, deep breaths, inhale, five, five, open your elbows, exhale, six, six, keep the pelvis neutral, inhale, seven, seven, that's it, exhale, eight, we're almost there, eight, inhale, four, nine, nine, exhale, ten, ten, relax, hug the knees, to your chest. Really good job, good. Flex your feet, open your knees, press the heels together. Extend the arms out by your sides, they're gonna hover above the floor. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, curl the shoulder blades off of the mat. Keeping the heels together, press out through your inner thighs, extend the legs for one, and bend. Two, and bend, use your inner thighs. Three, and bend, that's it. Four, rest your head on the floor if you need to, anytime. Five, in, six, resist coming back. Seven, good, and eight, bring it in. This is nine, good, 10. I want you to take it out there, hold it. Tiny little pulses in for 10, nine, use those abdominals. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, hug your knees, relax your head. We're gonna take one more of those bicycle table toe, tabletop toe taps. It's a lot to say. Bicycle tabletop toe taps. So again, 90 degrees with the legs, point your toes, hands behind your head. Let's start to the back first. And we have one, one, exhale, 
two, two, inhale, three, three, exhale, four, four, really twist, five, five, exhale, six, six, turn through those shoulders, inhale, seven, seven, almost there, exhale, eight, eight, inhale, nine, nine, exhale, 10, 10, you made it, hug the knees, relax your head, slowly rock up to seated. Let's come up to the hands and the knees just for a final stretch. Great job, that wasn't so bad, was it? Some of those were harder than they looked. Inhale, round the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Exhale, arch to look up. Let's do it again, inhale, round. And exhale, arch. Good, tuck your toes under, extend the legs, press your chest back to your thighs, slowly walk your hands back to your feet. Just hold that forward fold, stretch, relax your head, neck and shoulders. Taking your time, let's just roll up through that spine, sucking one vertebrae at a time, standing two inches taller when we finally come up. Let's take a nice deep breath together, inhaling both arms overhead. Exhale, hands come together through heart center. One last time, filling up your body with oxygen and energy for whatever is left of your day. Thank you so much for joining me for this Total Body Pilates workout. I hope you had a great time. I know I sure did and so did Peanut. And we look forward to sweating with you again real soon. Take care everybody.